Hello everyone, my name is Hannah Day and this is a yin fusion class. You're gonna need two towels or two blankets, a yoga block or a stack of books, a strap or a scarf, at least it's gonna be arms length or longer. And then you'll need a pillow or a bolster and of course you need your yoga mat for grip. And if you're someone who likes to wear socks, you can wear them in the beginning of class to keep your toes cozy. But as soon as we start moving on the mat, you need grip, so then it's time to take the socks off. So our focus today, we're gonna get into the back of the legs and some in the glutes and into the hips. Uh, and also just getting a little bit of flow moving through stuff and then lots of deep holds at the end of class. If you guys are feeling you need anything else today, you can um, uh, message in the chat box or um, let me know for next class. So uh, if you're feeling you're really missing something, you've got an ache somewhere in your body and it needs to be addressed, that's what I'm here for. I can help you stretch these areas out. I can help you give stretches for you to do that at home. All right, so let's get those necks moving and shoulders and just release a little bit of tension in the neck. So for get yourself grounded, feeling comfortable, seated. So just kind of move your sit bones around. Some of you might even like to sit like this. Whatever's comfortable to sit. All right, palms can be open or down, whatever you'd like. See if you can grow tall as you sit here, and then you're gonna shrug your shoulders up into the ears. Shrug it up. With an inhale, exhale, let it go. Again, inhale, shrug it up. Let it go, exhale. Two more. Shrug it up, inhale. Let it go, exhale. Last time, lifting, lifting, lifting. Shrug it, exhale, let it go. Beautiful. Hands to shoulders. You're going to inhale to the right, exhale to the left. Inhale right, exhale left. Inhale. Come back and forth. Keep going. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Five, four, three, two and one, good. Come back to center. Now you're gonna put your hands on your adrenals right up here. Doing it again for five more times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Find the rhythm. Five more, four, three, two, and one, beautiful, fine center, roll your shoulders forward. And roll it back. Beautiful. And roll it forward, release. Nice and gentle circles, and nice and gentle circles back, bringing your elbows back nice and slow and then settle down with your hands on the thighs, shoulders are back, sitting up tall. Inhale, exhale, you're gonna slightly bring your chin out. So just bring the chin out and drop it to your chest. Soften here, relax in the face, stretching out the back of your neck. See if you can let it go, let the head go. Inhaling and exhaling. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, right ear comes to your right shoulder, dropping that shoulder or the ear towards your right shoulder. Take your left hand and bring it down to the ground. Three breaths in, big breath out. In, full as you can, big breath out. Last time in, big breath out. Inhale to bring that hand up. Exhale, drop your chin to your chest and rock your head. Just rocking, releasing your head. Inhale and exhaling, inhale and exhale. Let your head be heavy. And then inhale, exhale, left ear rolls to the left shoulder. Shoulders drop away from the ears and bring your right fingertips down. Really finding that length on the right side of your neck. Soften the shoulders away from the ears, soften your jaw. In through the nose, 
open the mouth, let it go. <sighs> the neck tends to hold on to a lot of things. In and out. <sighs> In, out. Last time, biggest breath in, fill up the side of your neck, exhale, let it go. <sighs> Inhale your hand up to the thigh, exhale, drop chin to chest, rock your head. Beautiful. Slowly coming up here. Good. And we're going to come off our height and then unroll one of your towels or blankets so that it's just flat on your mat and come off that bolster or pillow and find your sit bones and if you were crossed like this on your uh, bolster or pillow cross it the other way just uh, change it up the awkward way and we're going to roll up and open our hearts really lift through your your heart you're on the tops of your sit bones and you're going to roll over your sit bones chin to chest back a wrist touch really pull the core in so from the side lift up open Round back, chin to chest. Lift up and open. See if you can really find that length. Exhale, roll it back. Empty the breath. Inhale, lift up, open. Exhale, roll it back. Chin to chest, back a wrist touch. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful. Hands on your knees, using that lift up and open. Exhale, chin to chest. Really slouching here. Inhale, lift up, open. Using the knees. Exhale, slouch it back. Lift up and open. And last time, slouch it back. Stay nice and rounded, really getting that length between the shoulders. And then you're going to sit up nice and gentle. You're going to lead with your heart. Come towards the right. Come forward and back. And just notice how that feels for you. Come towards the right with your heart. Forward and back. Really gentle, these circles. That's it. Beautiful. Right. Forward and back. One more to the right, lead with the right, heart towards the right, forward and back. Remember, you're only doing movements that feel okay for you. So stay rounded, stay back, pull the core into the spine, chin to chest, and then come towards the left of the heart, leading left, forward, slow, and noticing how it feels, and back. You can make these circles smaller, not coming too far forward, forward, and back. So at the base of your spine is this, this source of energy. And when you do kundalini yoga, you wake that up. And I've noticed the times I've done kundalini, I've really had energy on days that I've only had a few hours of sleep. And this is one of those poses. So you're kind of just waking up a little bit of the energy you need for the week and don't think it won't be able to sleep or anything this is just waking it up so that if you're feeling like low in energy or you're not feeling courageous or confident right now this is just a way to wake up that confident lady in all of us that 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 lady who knows her mind then slowly round back chin to chest inhale rounding up Beautiful. Inhale, arms come up, palms touch. And then you're going to exhale, come over to the right and pause. Side stretch. Ground your left hip down. Inhale, rise up. Another side. Ground down. Reach up and over. Notice how this feels. Up. With your inhale, exhale. Find your rhythm with your breath. Softening your face. Inhale up and over don't worry what i'm doing just kind of find your own rhythm find the inhale brings you up the exhale brings you over grounding your hips down finding that nice beautiful side body stretch up and back beautiful and then coming up here we're going to roll onto all fours so come on to your knees and bring your knees so they're supported by your blankets the knees are right below the hips. 
your block is close to the top of your mat. Find your strap, bring it so that's also on the right side of your mat at the, the top somewhere. Hands below shoulders, knees below hips. Inhale, curl your tailbone, float your heart through into cow. Exhale, curl your tailbone, push into the mat, chin to chest, cat. Inhale, curl the tailbone, float the heart through, nice big breaths here. Exhale, let it go. Pull the core in, chin to chest, stretching out your spine. Inhale, lift the heart through into your cow. Exhale, push into the mat, into your cat. Beautiful, one more time. Full breath in, full as you can, full breath out, let it go, exhale. And then finding your hands a little bit more forward, you're gonna swing your hip towards the right. Forward and back. So maybe even sitting towards your heels and then swing your hips towards the right, forward and back. So this is just a little gentle movements and you might feel your knees are cracking. If your knees are cracking, but there's no pain, that's fine. That's just vata, that's air leaving the body. If your knees are cracking and it hurts, please do not keep going, stop triple, even double, triple your blanket so that your knees are supported. And if it still happens, then you're just gonna go back to cat and cow. We don't want pain in any of our movements. So one more big circle back. Nice big circle, drop the head. There's no tension, just getting into your body. Feel your body and then switch up the direction. Swing your hips towards the left, forward and back. Notice how your hips are feeling today. How does your body feel? Now, the great thing about yoga is that it's just letting us know where we're at in the present. Where we're at today with everything that's going on is that check-in and we're not trying to hold on to judgment. So if you're like, oh gosh, I'm so slow. I'm not feeling like myself. Ah, just let it go. Just try to be in your body and be soft and gentle and loving with yourself. Relax the head, no tension the neck. Get these nice big circles and notice how your hips feel tonight. Nice and gentle. Remembering to be gentle. And then the other direction again. Swinging the hips, head is heavy, no tension, and switch again, other direction. Just notice how this feels in your body. No tension in the neck. Remember the neck likes to be like, like alert all the time. Let it go, let the head go, no tension. Head is heavy, eyes are soft, jaw is relaxed. And then slowly come to a stop. Bring your hands back below the shoulders. Fingers are spread, but they're soft. Index fingers are parallel. Curl the toes, inhale into cow, looking through. Exhale into downward dog. Lift your hips up and back. And look between your feet. Feet are hip width apart, or maybe a little wider. Heels are lifted, that's fine. Ground down through your hands, reach your chest towards your feet and pedal out your dog, walk it out. Pedal out your dog, pedal the back of the legs, pedal out the Achilles tendon, just stretch. Breathe, head is heavy. Being gentle with yourself, remembering that. From here, we're gonna take our right leg up. Inhale. Exhale, bring the right knee towards the right tricep. Lift it up, but don't touch it there. Inhale, kick it up. Right leg up, right leg crosses over to the left tricep, crossing over the body, not touching. Inhale, coming up, and then a big step between the hands, drop the back knee. You guys are like, what is Hannah doing to us tonight? We don't wanna do the core. <laughs> <laughs> Grab your block and place it on the inside of your right foot. You guys will be grateful. You'll be like, oh, I feel so strong. Ground down through that block. Make sure that your knee is right above the ankle. And there's not too much of a back stretch yet. 
and you're just finding that sturdiness of your block or your stack of books, curl your back toes under, inhale and exhale, lift the back knee. That's it, low lunge. Gaze down at the ground and then find this long spine. When you look down, you find that length. Feel one long line of energy powering out the, through the back heel and breathe. Beautiful. Breathe, everyone. One more inhale, exhale, lower down the back knee. Grounding down through your heel, roll up to the top of the thigh, hands down, shoulders up and back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale back, lift through the heart. Inhale, coming up for one more and back. We'll do another one because these circles are so good for the rotator cuff and beautiful. Arms in up and out to the sides. Circle your wrists, circle them the other way. Right arm comes under the left. You can stay here or maybe your back hands touch or maybe elbows at shoulder height, pull the core in. Feel your core. If the belly likes to relax, so engage it again. Inhale, elbows at shoulder height, open between the shoulder blades. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> like you're a fire breathing dragon, open the mouth. In, through the nose, lifting, exhale through the mouth, like a fire breathing dragon. <sighs> again, inhale in. Open through the back of the heart. Let the fire out through the mouth. Good, in and unwind the arms. Exhale up, palms touch and reach up. Exhale behind the head, elbows point to the ceiling. If you wanna go further, let the head come back. Beautiful, lift up. The head is supported. Inhale, exhale, look forward. Beautiful, and then bring that back Right, left hand down on top of your block and find a lower height if that doesn't feel sturdy coming up. I find going lower is more sturdy. And now you're gonna twist inward. So belly towards the inner right thigh, twist and look up. That left hand is right below the left shoulder. Breathe here. If you, some of you are a little fire breathers tonight, lift your back knee. If you have more energy you need to get rid of so you can pass out. Whatever you need, you can lift that back knee or lift and keep it down. If it's lifted, take an inhale, exhale, drop it down with everyone. Exhale, bring your arm up and over. Good work. And then get rid of block to the side, slowly crawling back, slide your heel, and then bring your knees below the hips again, hands below shoulders. Fingers are spread but soft. Inhale into cow, float the heart through, curl your tailbone, smile your sit bones apart, really feel the sit bones spread, and then exhale, lift up and back, downward dog. Paddle your legs. This is Hatha Yoga. And then you can tell me if you like which one you like better. <laughs> and then you're gonna take that left leg, nice lift, gentle lift, you don't need to come up too high, we're not stacking the hips. Inhale, exhale, left, Knee bends towards the left tricep. Don't touch it, just towards it, that's it. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, cross across the body into the obliques. Left knee towards the right tricep. Inhale, extend, lift, not too intense, big step forward. Yes, back knee down. Find your blanket, back knee supportive, find your block, inner thigh. I know some of you are wanting to exercise today. You're like, I need to get back to exercise. That's why I thought I'd bring in the core. Ground down through your block. Right, your that front knee, left knee is right over your ankle, back toes are curled. Look down, take an inhale, ground down through the heel, exhale, lift that knee up. Power through, gazing down. Nice low lunge, slide your left hip back. Energetically, the right hip is forward and breathe. Inhale, exhale, drop the back knee and slowly bring your hands to the top of the thighs. Shoulders roll back, belly button to spine. Do you feel how your belly wants to turn off all the time? Totally normal. Float your arms up, crescent lunge. Inhale, exhale, roll it forward for one. Inhaling, up, exhale, forward for two, up, Forward for three, up, 
and four, arms out to the sides, circle your wrists, circle them the other way. Beautiful. And then bring that left arm under your right. Find your eagle arm version. Maybe it's here, maybe back of hands touch, maybe some of you are crossing at the elbows and at the wrist. Elbows at shoulder height, reach through the crown. Chin is slightly, it's, it's also just level. You're not tucked down, you're just level. You're looking forward. We're finding our fire breathing breaths here. Inhale in, shoulders open. Open through the back of the heart. Exhale, open the mouth, let the fire out. Fire breathing breaths. Inhale in. Exhale, open the mouth. Again, in. Let out any rage you're feeling. Any feelings you're not expressing. One more in. Open the mouth, let the fire out. Beautiful. And unwind with the inhale. Exhale, float up your hands, palms touch. And then let your hands come behind your head. Now stay here if it feels this is where your edge is, you wanna hold it. Otherwise, let your head come back, looking up, letting the head support, be supported by the forearms and breathe. Opening up through the whole right side of the body. Lift up through the heart. Inhaling, exhale, look forward. Bring your arms up, inhale, exhale. Right hand finds your block on the lower height. Bring the block right below. So it's right below the shoulder. Floating, floating that left arm up, twist inward. Some of you might wanna lift and have a lot of fire in your body. Curl the back toes and lift up. Just notice where you wanna to be tonight. And you can look up at your hands or look down, whatever your neck likes. Find your breath. The breath is yoga. You lose the breath, the yoga's gone. Find your breath, it's always there. In. Out, drop the knee, beautiful. And then slowly bring that arm around. Bring that back leg back. Nice work. And then drop your block, hands below shoulders, knees below hips. Inhale into your cow, exhale downward dog. Good work everyone, pedal your legs. Nice. And then we're gonna come to the top of our mat. So bend your knees a lot and tiptoe, 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 even if you wanna jump, tiptoe and fold over the thighs. Now chest to thighs is great, but if the hamstrings are tight, bend the knees. Don't worry about, don't worry about it. There's no competition of who has the most flexible hamstrings. Hamstrings are always changing. So just let the head go. Let it go, Draw, grab opposite elbows, fold over the thighs. Bend the knees if the hamstrings are tight. Let the head heavy, let it be heavy. No tension in the neck. Remember the neck is constantly holding on. Good, release the hands, bring your big toes to touch, heels together, sit back. Chair pose, arms up, inhale, rise up, interlace your hands, lifting up, reaching up and out of the waist. Find the length, exhale, come over slightly to the right. Inhale up, exhale over a little bit to the left. Inhale, rise, let it go, arms out nice and slow to the sides. Beautiful. We'll do two sun salutations and then get into yin. Nice work, everyone. I was like, I'm gonna give you guys a new music list with a little bit different music and then get you into the deep bum muscles. So find your mountain pose. Feet are hip width apart, toes face forward, shrug shoulders up and back, open the palms. Feel solid, bring your belly button towards the spine, lift up tall. Inhale, rise, arms float up. You can look up at the palms if your neck likes that. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive down. Dive over the thighs. Again, bend, the, bend those knees if the hamstrings are too tight. Hands to the shins or the top of the thighs, flat back, gaze down at the ground. Exhale. Crawl back, bend your knees one foot at a time to find plank pose. Find the strong plank, shoulders over your wrist. Yes, lower to your knees. Even if you don't want to, lower to the knees. Uncurl the toes, lower down. Hands beside the heart. From here, push into the tops of the feet, elbows in, lift your kneecaps up. Baby cobra, we're not coming up too high, just a baby cobra. 
Exhale, let it go. Knees bend, curl the toes. From here, downward dog. Paddle your leg. Good. Downward dog, you're holding and breathing. Feel free to rest in a child's pose if it's too much. Inhale, lift your right leg, nice gentle lift, not too high. Exhale, step it forward. Back toes ground down, out at 45 degrees, warrior one. Float your arms up, lift up. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Start to inhale to lift up through the heart and start to straighten your front leg. Try not to lock it, it's a little bit micro bent. And then lead forward with your heart, gaze down. Hands behind your back. If it's too much, come back up and just grab opposite elbows and come down if it's too much. But make sure you come up first. Gaze at your big toe and reach your crown. Slide your left or your right hip back and breathe. It's okay if your legs are shaking with effort as long as it's not pain, okay? Gaze down, reach your crown, bend the knees. Beautiful work. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down. Back knee drops. Nice and slow and gentle. Bring your shoulders back over your wrists, lower down to the ground. Hands beside the heart, uncurl your toes, tops of feet into the ground. Inhale, push into the hands, lift your kneecaps, baby cobra. Exhale, let it go, downward dog. Just push up, be really slow and mindful. Paddle your legs, gentle lift, left leg. Big step forward, back toes 45 degrees, roll up. Warrior one, knee is over your ankle, back toes at 45 degrees. Don't worry about heel to heel alignment. Just let your hips be where it wants to be. Don't worry about square hips, belly button to spine though. Core is engaged. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands behind your back. Start to bring those shoulders up and back. Start to straighten your front leg, try not to lock it. Bring the belly in as you lead with your heart and gaze down at your big toe. Now, gazing down, find that length in your spine and breathe. Maybe some of you are thinking about that action of the left hip coming back. Being gentle, remember. Inhale, exhale, bend the knee. Release the hands up into warrior one. Exhale, coming down. Good work. Drop the back knee, other knee back. Lower down to the ground and coming into Sphinx. Bring your forearms to the ground, elbows below the shoulders, and relax here. Gazing down at the ground, if that feels better for your neck. But make sure that you're not just squished here. You're really coming up. You're bending in that deep compression in your lumbar spine. Elbows right below the shoulders. Forearms down, palms down, soften here. Gazing down. Some of you maybe have your head back, massaging your thyroid. If you have thyroid issues, I recommend this. Getting that area, helping to repair it. If you're thinking that doesn't feel good for my neck or my body doesn't like it, really listen to your body. This is a, um, a yin shape. So don't get attached to the yoga pose. It's a shape in yin. You're really just spending time to get into the deep tissue. So we're working the lumbar spine right now, we're compressing it. So when we release, our body knows to regenerate the low back, especially if you wanna have a nice strong low back, a healthy low back. Soften the shoulders down the back. Soften the face and breathe. If you need a break, you've had too much, you're just gonna widen your elbows and come down to the ground, stacking your hands and rest here, swishing hips back and forth. If you can hold for another 30 seconds, stay here and breathe. But remember your three breaths we're gonna take here. And if it's after three breaths, it's not what you need, then you come out and you change the shape. We just say we take those three breaths in a yin class just to settle in the yin posture and if it doesn't 
feel good or it doesn't change, we, after the three breaths, we change. Now, that's not the rule. If you feel pain, numbness, or tingling, we get out of a pose immediately. All right, three breaths in, fill up the heart, exhale through the mouth. Long exhales. In, big breath out. Last time, full breath. Fill it up, exhale, let it go. Beautiful, nice work, Angie. That looks nice, just perfect. One more inhale in, let it go through the mouth. And then slowly lower down, elbows come out to the side, stack your hands, forehead down, and swish your hips just a little bit on your mat, if that feels okay. And then from here, push yourself up to all fours, widen your knees, and just sit back for a moment, grab one towel or blanket. We're gonna unroll it and make a linguine noodle. So that's just making it so that you have a nice long kind of little linguine noodle. You're gonna bring that behind the back of your legs, right behind it, and then bringing the knees wider, at least shoulder width, big toes touch, you're gonna crawl back and find your child's pose. Forehead tucked. Chin to chest. Let it go. Find your breath. Find your child's pose. Some of you might want to be up higher, stacking your fists below the forehead. Find the version of your child's pose that you can just let go in. This is the exact opposite of that sphinx. We compressed, we released, and now we're curving the spine in the opposite direction so that our spine can regenerate. So our low backs can be healthy, happy, whole. No matter what's going on in the world, we want to have healthy bodies, healthy spines. Every joint and, and ligament and muscle, we just want to keep our bodies healthy, Releasing tension. The body never lies, you guys. It never lies. When you have tension, when you create tension in the body in yoga or running or whatever you do to create tension and then you release it, it really helps you process emotions. If you're getting any numbness or tingling, I want you out of the pose. We don't want that at all. Our bodies shouldn't be restricted. So if you need to come out just a moment, come forward, rest. You can wiggle your toes or fingers. If you're feeling still okay in child's pose, just holding for another few breaths. Breathe deeply into your low back sacrum area, your upper back. Just think of the lungs filling up the back body. Can you really let it go as you relax towards the floor? This is a great pose if you're feeling ever sad and alone or that you just need to, to connect with yourself. Just curl up in a child's pose, reconnect with your true self. Three breaths in, big breath out. In, big breath out. In, big breath out. Slowly making your way up. Crawling up. Coming forward on your hands. Release that linguine noodle sitting back on your feet. And then just come over to one side so you can let your release your legs out nice and slow. All right, now we're feeling, feeling the yin already, feeling a little more relaxed. Shake your legs out. From here, you're gonna grab what you need. So the back of the mat, you're gonna need a blanket later on. So have that ready. Another blanket or towel, bolster on the side and grab your strap because you're gonna need that right now and place it on the right. 
And then scoot your bum and then roll back. Bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Give yourself a little hug, nice and gentle. Nice gentle hug, maybe rock. Doing any movements that feel good for you. And then release your feet into the floor. Reach over for your strap. Grab your strap. Knees are bent, soles of the feet into the floor. Now bring your right knee towards your right, the side of your body, and then hook the strap on the bottom of your foot and stretch it up. Now find equal distance on either side and just slide your hands back so the, the, back, the floor is supporting the back of your arms. From here, flex the toes back towards you or lift the heel, whatever you wanna do to find your edge. Slightly tuck your chin to your chest, just a light, slight tuck so the back of your neck is long. And breathe. Gentle with yourselves. Gentle, the hamstring is on the average person. And you guys are far from average, you're very flexible. I have taught people in completely different stages of their lives, like there'd be no way they could even do this. It was more like down here. Um, this is flexible enough. So if, you, if you're like, this is, there's no way I can lift my heel up, that's okay. You just find your edge. Anywhere you feel sensation and open up the back of the legs. This is where that chi runs, the life force for sleep. Opening the back of the calves. Here we're opening up those channels for a deep, restful sleep. Especially if you've been having a lot of dreams, a lot of restlessness, this is your pose. Take an inhale in. Full exhale out through the mouth. In. Full exhale out, let it go. Last time in. Full exhale out. Take your strap, both pieces of your strap in your right hand, slide your right hand up towards your foot. Find a space between the ankle and the knee to hold. From here, you're gonna slowly, gently open up on the left. So left palm to the ceiling, and then you're gonna let your leg come out until your edge is when your shoulder starts to lift up. Oh, where, oh, there it is, right? You feel the lift of your shoulder, then back off. Both shoulder points into the ground once you found it. Look away from that leg. Look over your left fingertips. And breathe. Find your breath. Some of you might feel more comfortable looking towards your right leg. That's okay. You do where you look where it feels okay. Find your edge. As soon as your shoulder starts lifting, that's where you stop. Find your breath. Find the softness in your eyes. Think of your eyes being soft in the sockets. The jaw relaxed. Inhaling. Full exhale. Inhale. Full exhale. Inhale. Full exhale. Inhale, give breath the gaze up and then let the foot come up. Beautiful work, everyone. Nice, slide your hand down, give it a break. Extend that left leg. This time you're gonna take your left hand, raise it up, grab the strap and find somewhere between that knee and ankle and let your right hand come straight out to the side. You might need to adjust a few of your props there. So this is the intense one, guys. You're gonna be really mindful that where you, your shoulders just to lift off the ground is your edge. Take an inhale and you're gonna exhale. You're gonna roll on the side of that left foot. So come to the side. Yeah, that's it, beautiful. And then, oh, when the right shoulder wants to lift, that's your edge. And look over in the opposite direction. Look over those right fingertips. If you feel those fingertips are lifting or your shoulders lifting back off, keep the shoulder down and breathe. You're on the side of that foot the left foot, the pinky side. Breathe. Soften the face, use the breath. Some of you might wanna bend that right arm that feels more appropriate for your body. Keep the shoulder down. Breathe. Shoulder down, no numbness, no tingling. 
three breaths in out in out in out inhale the gaze up let the leg come up and then release knee to chest bend your left knee let go of the strap bring your knees to your chest and do any movements you like maybe give yourself a squeeze Maybe you're letting your feet float up, circling your ankles. Maybe your hands come up too. It's a lot for that right leg. And we're being really mindful, really gentle. We're not going too, too deep. You're finding your first edge, not your deepest edge. And then when you're ready, knees to chest, release the soles of the feet to the ground. Bend your left knee towards your left side of your body. Grab your strap. By the way, you can skip any of these when you're like, I don't want to do it. Hook the bottom of the foot, lift up. And from here, again, we're not trying to lock that leg. We never want to lock the knee. Find your edge, sliding your hands, equal distance on either side of your strap. Gaze is at the ceiling. Keep that neck looking, a neck feeling long, chin slightly tucked. Yeah, sure, my microphones, you guys aren't getting muffled here. Okay. From here, curl the toes towards you, lift your heel up. Find your edge, chin slightly tucked, and breathe. Find the softness with each exhale, let it go as you open the back of your legs, inviting in a long, deep, restful sleep. Let the chi, the prana, flow through the back of the legs. This is your stretch. This also works you for the standing head to knee pose. There's a pose where you're standing and your legs extended and then you come forward and bring your knee to your, your head to your knee when you're standing. And this is how straight your leg is when you're standing. So this is a prep for the, that pose, building up for it. Soften in the face, soften in the throat, inhaling, full exhale, let it go. Good. Slowly bring both pieces of the strap in the left hand, slide your left hand up. Find a space between your knee and the ankle. Let your right leg extend out. Inhale here. Exhale, you're going to start to let that leg open up on the left. Let it open, you can follow it with your gaze. As Soon as that right shoulder starts to lift up, that's your edge. You can flex your feet if that feels more protective, more, more safe. You're gonna find your version and you're gonna look over the right fingertips. Breathe. Let the right hip do whatever it wants as you're opening up to the side. Again, that right hip where that shoulder comes up, you're going to back off. You're finding where it feels good. And you might probably notice one side's very different than the other. Again, don't judge. Just notice. Breathe. Find your breath. Find your softness. Let it go. Use your breath. Remember, not the deepest edge, the first edge of sensation. Hold it there. Backing off if it's too deep. Remember. The first edge of sensation, soften the eyes, soften the neck. Some of you are looking the same direction as your feet. That's good too, wherever your neck wants to be. Inhale in, full exhale out. In, and exhale, slowly float the leg up. Good. From here, extend that right leg straight down your mat. Grab that right hand up, slide it up between summer, between the knee and the ankle. Again, you don't need to hold these poses that long if it's too much. Left hand out to the side at shoulder height. Inhale here, exhale, roll into the side of that right hip. So you're coming to the full side of your right, the right hip side of the right foot. You're on this whole right side of your body. And then look over the left fingertip. Again, you're finding where it feels good. You don't want that left shoulder to lift. As soon as it lifts, 
That's your edge. Some of you might want to look in the same direction. We don't want to feel any numbness or tingling. Where does your neck want to be? Hold it. Find your, find your pose. Remember, not the deepest edge. I know you're tempted. The first edge of sensation. The first edge. Find the softness, find the breath. That's it. Deep breaths through the nose. Breathe through the nose. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Out. Inhale to look up to the ceiling. Exhale, let your leg slowly come up, slowly come to the back of the body again. Bend your knee towards your chest, let go of the strap. Strap off to the side, bring your knees to your chest. Really good job, everyone. And just rock it here. Let your legs float up, ankles float up, hands float up, circle your wrists, circle your ankles. And then your soles of your feet come back down. Float your right leg out, flex your toes back and cross that foot over the top of the left leg. Don't worry about your knee coming out to the side. Let it be where it wants to be. If you can, you can think about the love of figure four, but keep that right foot flexed so it protects your knee joint. From here, you're gonna take your hand, so your right hand's gonna go in between the legs. This is like eye of the needle. You're gonna interlace your fingers maybe on the top of the shin or behind the thigh, wherever it feels good for your body. Tuck chin to chest. Again, this is your first edge. You're finding the most suitable pose for you. These are these deep butt yin stretches I was talking about at the beginning of class. This is what you worked up for, for your, when you did your hatha flow. To be in stillness and find the breath. It's always there. The breath is always there through every experience in your life to help guide you with calmness, with patience, to help you be your true self, find your true meaning. The breath is there for you. Deep breath in and out. Release the hands, bring that sole of the feet to the ground. Cross that foot all the way over. From here, bring your knee, your right knee towards your chest and reach for the outside of the feet. Now this is where, sorry, not the outside of the feet. We don't want to sickle the ankles in. We want to reach for the shins and just pull towards us. This is all oh, that butt stretch. Now some of you are like, there's no way I can grab my shins. That's where your little strap comes in handy and you can hook it around. Choose one side. Actually, just use your strap to pull in if you can't do it with the leg, the outside of your feet. Find whatever works to get into that bum, chin to chest, maybe even coming up higher. But we're not grabbing out to the feet and cyclicking the ankles. That's just not healthy for those joints. Chin to chest, release here. Some people actually even hook their socks. One sock over one foot, one sock over the other foot because the strap doesn't really work here. Relax, find the breath. Take a nice inhale in. Deep breath out. In. Exhale, release. Bring that foot down. Reach over for any side, even above you. Find your blanket. It's going to be rolled up. Place it on the left side of your body because you're going to roll here for twisted roots. Arms out to the side. Bring, hoist yourself over onto that left hip to drop your knee, that right leg that's crossed across. Drop your right knee towards that 
bolster or that pillow or that blanket. Now you might think this is too much of a spinal twist. This is too much. If that's the case, gently unwind. Come back up, unwind your legs and let your knees fall over instead to the left, just your knees. Either case, whatever twist you're in, whether on the whole side of that left hip, deeper twisted root twist, whatever you're in, maybe you can look over the right shoulder, over the right fingertips. Maybe some of you are bending your arms in cactus. Maybe some of you have your hands down, that feels better for your arms, especially for those, and that's me. I have a nerve that runs somewhere that I always get numb arms and you never want numbness or tingling in yin. That's the biggest rule. No numbness, no pain, no tingling. So you want to have your, for me, sometimes I just bring my hands down and breathe. Remember, this is the twist is that final pose that gets rid of all the kinks in the body. Let's go of all the, the final, it's like that final touch. You're decorating a cake, it's the icing on top. Your twist is the icing of your yoga class. It's getting out the last toxins, the last anything that your body's still holding on to. Wringing out the body of the toxins, wringing out the body of colds, of bad negative feelings, just letting it go. Most of all, it wrings the body out from fear. Let the fear go, let it melt away. Remember, fear, worry, anxiety, those are all energy suckers. So let your body wring it out. And breathe. Two more deep breaths, guys. Full breaths in, full breaths out. In and out. Inhale to lift your gaze up to the ceiling. Exhale slowly, let the knees come up. And then you're gonna come on your back, unwind the legs, or maybe your knees were just doing the twist, whatever version. It's perfect for your body, knees to chest, doing any movements that feel right for you. And we're gonna do that all on the left side. Make sure I'm doing good on time. Yes, we are. Perfect. Ha ha. Whatever feels good, you're doing these movements. And then you're going to release the soles of your feet to the mat. Chin slightly tucked, back of neck is long. You're going to float the left leg up, flex the toes back, and find the figure four, crossing that left foot above on the right thigh. Flex the toes back to protect your knee joint. Keep them flexed. Maybe your knee can fall away, pulling the number four, but don't worry about it if your knee's up here. You are finding your edge. Be gentle. Inhale, full exhale. You're gonna start to take your hands, take your left hand, thread it through, right hand on the outside. Now some of you can grab the top of your shin, interlacing the fingers here. Others are gonna go on the inside of the thigh. Maybe that elbow can help move that left knee away from you, but you're bringing chin to chest, finding length and being gentle here as you breathe. No tension in the face, eyes are heavy, no tension in the jaw. Now you might have it that your house isn't very peaceful right now and you can hear a lot of noises. Try to let the noises melt away. You might have music playing, you might not. Try to let all sounds melt away as you stay with the breath. There's so many things we can't control, but the breath is one thing we can. Deep breaths in and out. Two more breaths in and out. In, full breath out, let it go. From here, take that sole of your foot back to the mat. Cross your left leg over entirely. If you're 
a gentleman. You're going to adjust here so that everything feels comfortable. Uh, otherwise, from here, we're going to bring our knees towards our chest and grab for the outside of the feet. Again, you can grab your socks hooking over each foot and finding in. You're not pulling the outsides of the feet. You're tempted, I know, because the toes are there. You want to pull them and then that, that motion is not healthy for the, the sickle cling of the ankles. So grab wherever you can on the thighs and pull it towards you as you bring chin to chest, getting in that deep butt stretch. Chin to chest, release. Now, someone was asking me about postpartum poses. This is a great postpartum pose, this one here. It's called Gamukasana or shoelace pose. In yin, we call it shoelace. In hatha, we call it cow face pose. So I encourage you to call this shoelace pose. Think of it as a shoelace, just so you don't get attached to what it should look like. That's the beauty of yin, is that every shape doesn't really matter what it looks like. When I did my training with um, an incredible yin teacher. He had a model in his, in his book that did all the poses so deep. And he said to me, he's like, it doesn't have to look like this at all. The beauty of yin is that it's not, we don't call it a pose, we call it a shape because it can always change. Everybody's so different. So don't get attached to a pose. Let the shape take hold, let it feel good for you. Inhale in through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. Again in, full breath out, last one in, full as you can, let it go. Slowly release the shins wherever you were holding, let that sole of your foot come down. Reach down, grab your blanket that's folded up into a height. Maybe some of you want to use your bolster. I encourage you to have the same exact height you had on the side. We're going to hinge our hips. So if you're doing twisted root, shift your bum over so you're coming to the side of your right hip so that you can really get into that deep twist, letting your body fall over to the right, getting supported by that, that folded blanket. Arms out to the sides and look over the left shoulder. Now again, this is your last final pose. So you want it to be that shape that feels good for you. It's like that nice juicy final closing, wringing everything out, letting out all the kinks. Now it might be too deep here. So be really gentle, bend your elbows, bring your hands down. Maybe you need to bring your leg back up, uncross the legs. And just let the knees fall to the side. Remember, this is a, tw a reclined twist that you make work. I know a lot of you love twisted roots, but it's not for everybody and not for every day. You might do the same class again and it feels completely different. You need to do another version of a twist. Remember, maybe you need higher up on this side. Maybe you need to bring a little bit higher of a pillow or a bolster to catch your knee in that, that twisted root because it's just too deep. You're on the side of your right hip if you're coming in holding. Find it working for you. You can find and make any adjustments for your body. Remember that. You fly your own airplane. Again, no numbness, no tingling. You're finding that edge of sensation and letting your body unwind. Ringing out the toxins, ringing out the negativity, letting go of the fear. So you're your true self. Let go of the stories. Some of you might be looking the opposite direction. Some of you might just be looking at the ceiling. Some of you the same direction as your knees. Let your neck go where it wants to as you just enjoy the last moments of this pose. Remember, finding that breath. This is great pose for digestion as well. Let it go. Three breaths in, 
out, in, out, in, out. Slowly inhale your head up, gaze to the ceiling, eyes open or close, whatever feels good. Slowly take an inhale, use the inhale to lift your legs up nice and slow, uncross the legs if they're in the twisted roots version, bring your knees to your chest, one final squeeze. So now we're gonna prepare for our final pose. So it's either legs up the wall or Shavasana. So let your legs float up to the ceiling for a moment, circle ankles and wrists, and then just rock up for one moment. Might take you two rocks, really gentle. And then you're going to look around your room and think, do I have a wall that could support me for legs up the wall? Or do I prefer to just lay in my Shavasana on my back? So you have uh, 15 full minutes here. Maybe you just wanna do 10 minutes of Shavasana or legs up the wall or five minutes of legs up the wall, five minute leg up the wall and 10 minute Shavasana. Maybe that's what you wanna do. If you're gonna come up with legs up the wall, you wanna have all your stuff ready. So you're gonna need a blanket and that folded edge is nice for the back of the head. And then you can get your other blanket ready for Shavasana for the side and same with a pillow. So I'll just walk you guys through legs up the wall and then I'll tell you how to get into Shavasana after. So legs up the wall, I'm gonna to come to my wall, is some people's favorite pose, other people's not so much. Um, it's kind of like a love-hate pose. And if you settle, settle in it, take three breaths and you're like, mm -mm -mm, I do not like this pose. It really trust yourself. So you're gonna bring your body at least a hand's width away from your wall. And then you're gonna just, actually, sorry, let's do this version. You're gonna slide your butt right up to the wall, come on your back and swing your legs up and around. That's it. Now you can play with how close you are to the wall or not but you want to have that blanket behind your head. Now your legs are straight up the wall. Play with the angle. Maybe you need to be farther away, but bring that blanket with you. Some of you like to be really close. Wherever you're at, imagine the legs, waterfall coming down. Hands can be on the belly, hands can be out. Just tuck your shoulders under, chin to chest. Now some of you are gonna be in here like, Oh my goodness, I love this pose. This is where I feel landed and grounded. Others are gonna be like, I do not like this pose. I do not like this pose. So if that's you, you can bend your knees to your chest and just roll to your side, pause, and then come onto your mat for Shavasana. Otherwise, we're just gonna hold this for another three minutes together. Some of you wanna probably spend like the full 15 minutes here. I know there's always like one person who could like do this forever. So wherever you're at, just meditate in the idea of nice cooling energy coming down the legs, beautiful waterfall. Your belly is the pool of water and just breathe, chin slightly tucked, relax the face. Maybe some of you are already in Shavasana, that's great. If you're in Shavasana, make sure that you support the back of the knees on your mat with a pillow, just so the spine is slightly bent. Those of us in legs up the wall, just let the eyes go. Now, this is where we don't wanna feel numbness and tingling as well. Again, it goes for every pose. So if you're starting to feel tingling or numbness in your legs, it's time to come out. So when you come out, you just bring your knees to your chest, roll to the side, left or right side. Let's take three breaths here together. Inhale in, big exhale out, in, let it go, in, and exhale.
Now there's so many poses you can do up in this variation of a pose. And if some of you wanted to stay here, you can stay here. You can even do feet together, knees out to the side. But for our purpose of this class, you're just gonna bend your knees, bring your knees towards your chest, roll to your right and pause on your right side. Take a moment, just pause. Some of you are probably staying in legs of the wall, feel free to stay. But if you're getting numbness or tingling, just we want to come out and then slowly push yourself up. Crawl back over to your mat. Take your time. Grab your socks, grab your blankets, everything you need for your cozy Shavasana. Grab your crystals you're working with. Pull in the, the plant close to your side, whatever you're working with tonight. And then you can bring that head so that Again, that the blank is never under the shoulders. It's just touching the top of the shoulder. The head is supported. Grab the back of the thighs supported by that bolster. And maybe you want to do one last reset by bringing knees to chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And let it go. Palms to ceiling. Chin to chest. Let's make sure that my mic isn't messing you guys up maybe sorry for the sound was bad there and the legs up the wall it was a little bit tucked in my shirt chin to chest and then you guys want to get comfy here so let's reach up for the top of the head grab the blanket roll it and support the neck so like your little burrito you're going to bring the sides in squeeze the neck roll them up and then grab the top of your blanket, roll the corners in, and then you're gonna tuck under the head like that little burrito we want to support the head. Think of a nest. So most people in Shavasana, when you look around the class, their chin is lifted. This helps to bring the chin down more level or even tucked, which your neck, your body likes. It's just a way to drop into the body. So now you're gonna just find that place of comfort. Some of you feeling you need a little more grounding, you can grab a little bit of weight, maybe a blanket just resting on the hips. Tuck your shoulder blades under, palms to the ceiling, chin slightly tucked, and let go in Shavasana. Let it go. All right, three minutes, no talking. We're gonna just let it go. No tension. Jaw, is everything soft. Prana is flowing through, crown to toes, toes to crown. Let all tension melt away.
when you feel ready, slowly bring awareness to your breath. You might still be in legs up the wall, wherever you're at. Bring awareness to the breath. Feel the breath in your whole body. Bring awareness to the belly, to your chest and your throat, noticing the breath. Bring awareness to your feet and toes, maybe wiggling toes and fingers. Waking the body up. Feel free if you're asleep or you just want to keep resting to keep resting, by the way. Maybe you're bringing a little bit of movement to the wrists, maybe not, or ankles. Just do what you want to. Opening, closing the hands. When you feel ready, bend one knee at a time and get rid of the, the pillow or bolster underneath the thighs. Get rid of your blanket if it's on top of your belly. And then you're gonna just take your time to roll to your right side. Roll over, fetal position. By the way, stay in Shavasana if you need to stay there and you're like, oh, I need to stay here, I'm so tired. And just rest on your side for a moment. Softening the eyes, the face, the throat. Like a little pearl on a beach, you're just curled up around the pearl that precious heart. Every single person on the planet is precious. From here, take your top hand, place it into the ground. Take an inhale. On your next exhale, push yourself up with that hand. Nice and slow. Take your time, really slow, guys. And you're gonna look around and find your pillow to bring your bum up on to the pillow so that the hips are lifted. Find yourself seated. Now again, if you're in Shavasana and you just wanna stay there and sleep and rest, your body needs the rest. If you feel you need grounding in your life right now, if you feel a little fluttery and you just need to ground down, palms down. If you need expansion and openness, open the palms. Shoulders back wherever you're at, or palms down. Sit up tall. Breathe in a way that's natural for you. Now I want you to picture someone in your life that you're grateful for, immensely grateful for. Right now, you are so grateful for this person. They can be anywhere in the world, just you're really grateful for them. Picture them in your mind. Picture them smiling, with sparkle in their eye. And I want you to think about breathing in all the gratitude to this, for this person. Into the heart, exhale through the mouth. And you can keep your eyes open or closed, whatever you want to do. You can have your eyes softly open as you picture this person. I want you to think about pulling in so much gratitude for them. Pull it to the heart. And then inhale up and out of the heart and send the gratitude out to them. Inhale, pull in the gratitude. Ending with the hands at the heart center. 
We'll finish tonight with the sound of Om. Om. I want you guys to think of that Om to keep you in the present, this moment. So we're going to inhale and exhale fully. And if you can't Om loudly in your house, feel free just to hum. That's fine. Humming. If you can, definitely a nice loud Om from the center of your chest. So inhale, exhale fully first, letting go of a big breath and then a full ohm. Inhale in. Exhale, let it go. In. Namaste, everyone. Namaste.